Just off Junction 11 of the M60 is an abandoned stretch of dual carriageway. But how? And why? And when? It used to be part of the A57, and if we go back to a time before the motorways existed, the A57 ran through Peel Green, and back then it acted as the main route and road running between Liverpool and Lincoln, stopping at Manchester and Sheffield on the way. It's seen many changes over the years, and one of those changes happened here, where the A57 was upgraded to a dual carriageway and some of the corners smoothed out. This most likely coincided with the building of the M60 a short distance away. After all was said and done, it left a curved section of road that was used as a lay-by, with most motorists probably not even aware that it used to be part of a major road. For a while, this is how things stayed, until around 2009 when work started on building a 12,000-seat rugby stadium on an old brownfield site right next to our old A57. This was great, but after its completion, traffic in the area increased significantly, more so on match days of course, and none of the surrounding roads were really built to handle this increase in traffic. Other than the M60, the nearest river crossing is found at the Barton Bridge, and with both routes becoming heavily congested, something needed to be done. The Western Gateway Infrastructure Scheme was announced shortly thereafter, a joint project between councils and many different developers and many construction companies. There are different elements to the projects that will see many houses and infrastructure added over the coming years. Step one was to build a better road link, so they did. The Salford Western Gateway links the A57 through to Trafford Way and then on to Junction 10 of the M60, so therefore traffic can avoid Peel Green and the smaller surrounding roads altogether. Let's get back to our abandoned road. To recap, we started with the A57, which was then upgraded to a dual carriageway. But in order to build the Western Gateway link road, they diverted the A57 along a new alignment before it takes a left and rejoins its original route. Interestingly, in order to do this, they reuse some of the leftover original A57. You'll recall that for a while it was a lay-by. By creating this corner section, we've now got a stretch of dual carriageway that's no longer used. And as a bonus, there's an additional abandoned road, which used to be part of the lay-by, which used to be part of the old A57. It's all over the place, isn't it? An interesting feature of the new road section are the bridge supports, which at the moment seem to serve no purpose. There are talks of building a new freight railway, which will run from the main line found to the north down to Port Salford. What is this Port Salford, I hear you ask? It's a new £138 million development that will see the creation of a massive container port on the banks of the Manchester Shipping Canal. Apparently, it'll be the first port to offer sea, road and rail connections, and it'll have the capacity to handle 775 metre long trains. Exciting stuff, and this explains why the road upgrades were done. It wasn't to help the local residents reduce traffic, it was to handle the increase in traffic that they can expect over the next few years once the port's completed. Along with that, there might be 12,000 new houses added as well, so I can only hope they future-proof the roads enough in preparation for this. Thanks for watching.